In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate images with Canva AI. Whether you're designing for social media, presentation, or personal projects, Canva has your back. So let's take advantage of this potential for your visual creation and let's get started. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing three examples. For an Instagram post, for a coloring book, and finally for a presentation. Example number one, how to use image generation for an Instagram post. To start with the Instagram post, we can go to the section of social media in Canva, this one in here, and on here we can search only for the Instagram port square format on here. So I'm just going to go and click on it. So to use our AI generation images, first of all, we have to go to the app section in Canva, and on here we have to search for magic media. And there we go. And on here we're just going to go and click in the first option. On here we have the app that will help us to generate all these images with AI. And to do this, like any other AI, we have to use a prompt. For this, you will have to play around with some different prompts till you get the one that fits the best for your image. So I'm going to be using this prompt. Create an image of William Shakespeare eating a burger. And for here, we have also the options to choose the styles. So we can choose between watercolor, dreamy, anime, filmic, and photo. Because I'm going to be creating an Instagram post, I'm going to be using the square option. So I'm just going to go and click in generate image. And then here, I'm just going to wait a few seconds till the Canva AI generate my image. And there we go. The AI already generate our different images. So if we like one of these ones, but we want to see more options, we can go and we can click, let's say I'm going to be choosing um, this one. We can go, we can click in the three dots and on here we can tell the AI to generate more images like this. So I'm just going to click on it. I think I'm going to be using still this one. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm just going to go and set it as a background. And on here I can finish my designing. So we already have our generated image. So I'm just going to go and finish my designing. So I'm just going to be using some text. So I already finished my design. I already had the text that I wanted to add over my image that I generate completely from the Canva AI. And I think it's a very useful uh, tool if you want to generate images that you wouldn't find very easily in the internet. You can generate and you can get very creative and make a lot of interesting things with it. Now that our post is ready, we can move on on creating the next example. So for this option, I'm just going to go into the square here that says create a design. And on here, I'm just going to go and type coloring book. And I'm just going to go and click in the coloring book portrait. And we're going to make exactly the same process. But... I also find out that if you go to the uh, element section and then you go to AI image generation, you can go in, you don't have to go and search for uh, magic media. You can just click in, generate your own, and it's going to send you directly to the magic media app. So for this example, I'm just going to be using this prompt that it says create a bunny in black and white for a coloring book. And also we can choose the styles. I wouldn't change anything on here. We can uh, see what Canva makes for us. And because it's a book, we need to change the aspect ratio. So we need to put it in portrait. And then we go, we're just gonna go and click in generate image. And then again, we're just gonna wait a few seconds till our image is ready. Canva already generates some images for us. So let's see, we can use this one. Or we can, like, I like this one, but I would like to see some more options like this. So I'm just going to go click the three dots, generate more like this. So we can see on here that can be generate more for us. I think this is a very cute one. So we're just going to go and we're going to click in the three dots and set as an image background. And there we go. You already have your coloring book. Now I'm going to move on to the last example. So I'm just going to go again, Canva homepage. And for the last example, we're just going to go to the area of presentations. And on here, I'm just going to be choosing a presentation from the templates. And we can start to 
generate some pictures for our presentation. And then I'm going to go again to elements and in here I'm just going to go and click in generate your own image. So for this, I'm just going to be using this test prompt. Create Lionel Messi in a black and white Roman style statue. And again, because I'm going to be using the picture ratio, I'm not going to change anything on here. So I'm just going to keep it only as square. And I'm going to click in generate image. And we can see and wait till the, uh, the AI it start to generate our images. And there we go. We start to see some options that the AI start to generate for us. So instead of using this, so we can maybe, I like this one, but I want to see more like this. So already our AI generate more images. So I'm just going to be choosing this one. And instead of using this one that we have up here, I'm going to place my image that I just generate. So I'm just going to go crop it. And there we go. We already changed the image of our presentation. So as you can see, using the Canva AI image generation, it's very simple and you can generate a lot of pictures that you wouldn't find in a normal photo stock. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.